Yes, um, th there are also complaints from um, some of the people in the, in the Ch Chabang Kalana Jaya. I, I just feel that, I mean, you, you, when you have an election, the rules must be the same for everybody. Standardized. Yes, there must be a standardized rule. And the rules must be transparent. If there are irregularities and um, different standards for different places, and certain parties having clear advantage, then then you can understand why certain people are not happy with uh, the outcome. Um, like, for example, what happened in Ulu Selangor? I think the reason why they, are, they want to suspend the Ulu Selangor election and what has happened in Kalana Jaya is almost the same. The party has to show fairness. And I think, I believe, if you show fairness, if the playing ground is the same, I think, um, you know, even if if uh, you you lose, you will be okay with it, right? You can accept. Yeah, we can. I think I think the people are not saying that. Oh, this is because we are lost. We are we are we are yeah, we are lo we are losers. You know, we are bad losers. Sometimes, if things appear to be fair, I think losing is not a problem. I mean, okay. Number one, I wanted to clarify the the tenth tenth October issue. You came here to clarify that. Yeah, I wanted to see what's going on. Whether. There are any because there are eight chabangs here, so I wanted to hear whether any of them have uh, re received any notice about the tent being the color of day. So it's, uh, judging by what you said just now, so can we assume that uh, until today there is no tarikh to talk for pecalunan? Yes. Can we? Uh, I, at, at least this is what I believe, lah, because I spoke to a lot of people. Can still nominate? Well, well, the the nomination has really closed. Okay, the submission of the nominations. The submission. Because you you nominate people during the AGM. The AGM, the last day is on the tenth. The submission. So the real question is the submission of the of nomination. So if because right now I think more than thirty chabangs so belum submit mereka punya nomination. So how can the party say that who so and so is not eligible because they don't have the because they haven't received. 30 cabang here, right? How do you know? Maybe in the other 30 cabang, there's uh, yeah, Isa. Like, yeah, I mean, but this is not this is not about Isa. Whether Isa is accepting the nomination or not, we also don't know. So she might get 100 nominations, but it doesn't mean anything. The real question is, they cannot uniform. You cannot unilaterally decide on an arbitrary basis that. Retrospectively, do a hurry, do look. It should close the nomination, right? This is this is ridiculous. What you think? This is North Korea or something? Like they they need to centralize the information. Okay, right now this person who made the statement, who is he? I also don't know, right? So they should centralize the information and ask the election commission to so more. Oh, everybody keep quiet, okay? Let the 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 the, the, the are going to, to take charge and any statement go through him, okay? Everybody else, just keep, back off, keep quiet. Your statements are not, will not, it's not the official stand of the party, all right? Centralize the information from the Satyo Usa Agong. So whatever, whatever he says, that carries some weight right now. After he says this, so many people call me and started complaining. And I, I and actually I have no idea what's going on. We are not here to condemn PKR. Yes. Yeah. Or be little PKR. We want to support PKR. Let let you people get the point very clear. We are not here to be little or condemn PKR. PKR is our party. We are in that family. Yes. We are only doing this to let the general mass know how credible and how fair PKR can be because of its mistakes that we are going to rectify from now. Well, the procedure has to be transparent. I don't know about other political parties, whether they're transparent, whether they can come out and talk like this. They may be told to shut up, but here we did not shut up. That is the transparency, the credibility PKR has given us. And we are exercising that right. About the person who talked to me, he voted for me, nomination, and the name is not here. Before, okay, I call it, directly called him, I check here, my name is not here. And he's telling, here they changed the name. Before? The person, yeah, before. Before, before. I just called, talked to Wandi, okay? And he only personally called and tell me he already voted for me there. My name is not here. That means they are changing here the names. Please, I, I need the press to 
highlight. Bring this forward to everybody and tell them, and they must do something fair and justice for us. Okay. This is a justice party. So far, they say I've got only one. They don't want me to contest for MPP. They scared that I'll win. Okay. No, that's what I see. In Sabah, they said I already got more than seven. Okay. Let's say like, I need one also enough. We'll do. Before confirm. Okay. I got here. Tanjung Malim, I got one already. Okay. So I need only one. And that's why they confirm I got four. Now I check none. So that means uh, the party people here, they don't want me to contest for MPP. Okay. And Xavier don't want me to contest in, in Kotoraja. Before the election, he said I'm, I'm bankrupt. Before that, he sent a letter to HQ. Ask, ask the HQ to sack me, you know. So all this nonsense is happening because the party is scared of me. I don't know why. Uh, because they don't want good people to be in the party. They want people like Xavier to be in the party, you know, understand? So I don't know what to do now. I need justice. So I will fight and I'll stay in this party and I'll fight, fight for justice.